In a May 27 letter, Senator Ron Johnson wrote that Dr. Fauci's confidence in the theory that the virus originated naturally appears to have dropped, and called for an explanation by June 10. The ambiguity of your recent statements about the virus origins raises questions regarding your assertion from a year ago when you confidently stated that the virus could not have been manipulated and that it occurred naturally, Johnson wrote, referring to the alternate theory that the virus had leaked from a lab in Wuhan, China. In May 2020, Fauci largely dismissed the lab origin theory in an interview with National Geographic. One topic in the news lately has been the origins of SARS-CoV-2. I mean, do you believe or is there evidence that SARS-CoV-2 was made in the lab in China or accidentally released from a lab in China? Well, you know, th there's two issues. If you look at the evolution of the virus in bats and what's out there now, it's very, very strongly leaning towards this could not have been artificially or deliberately manipulated, the way the mutations had naturally evolved. A year later, on May 11, 2021, Fauci said he's no longer certain that the CCP virus developed naturally and called for an open investigation into the origins of the virus. There's a lot of cloudiness around the origins of COVID-19 still. Um, so I wanted to ask, are you still confident that it developed naturally? But no, I'm not convinced uh, about that. I think that we should continue to investigate what went on in China until we find out to the best of our ability exactly what happened. Certainly, the people who've investigated say that it likely was the emergence from an animal reservoir that then infected individuals, but it could have been something else. And we need to find that out. So, you know, that's the reason why I said I'm perfectly in favor of any investigation that looks into the origin of the virus. However, days later, Fauci told CBS senior White House correspondent Weijia Zhang that he continues to believe that it is highly likely that the virus occurred naturally and backs a thorough investigation since no one is 100% sure. Dr. Fauci reiterated this standpoint during the Senate hearing on May 26, 2021. SARS renew the host in four months, MERS renew the host in nine. We still don't know the, the, the host in, for COVID, even though, and China's not being transparent about it, even though they have a vested interest in producing the host so they can put all those down. Um, in a lab that we know is involved in m changing viruses synthetically so that they become infectious for humans, um, in a lab that diplomats have told us is unsafe, in a country that had a history of lab leaks, and by the way, in a virus that we know can be synthetically created because the Swiss did it. The Swiss created an exact replica of this virus in the lab uh, for purposes of answering it. All these facts were available to us last May, last April. Why, I'll start with Dr. Fanny. Why, why did you dismiss the lab leak theory as, as credible? I have always said that the high likelihood is that this is a natural occurrence. I didn't dismiss anything. I just said it's a high likelihood that this is a natural occurrence from the environment of an animal reservoir that we have not yet identified. Well, and I still maintain that. But as, as I just mentioned to the response to other questions, that since you don't know 100% about that, because no one knows, including me, 100%, what the origin is, is the reason why we're in favor of further investigation. Your high level of confidence in rejecting a potential laboratory origin in May 2020 is perplexing, given that public reports highlighted safety concerns at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, Johnson wrote. On the same day as the Senate hearing, President Joe Biden said that the U.S. intelligence community believes there are two likely scenarios, but do not believe there is sufficient information to assess one to be more likely than the other. Biden has since renewed the investigation into the origins of COVID-19 and requested the intelligence community to produce a report in 90 days. Also on May 26, Facebook reversed ban on posts suggesting COVID-19 was man-made. In light of ongoing investigations into the origin of COVID-19 and in consultation with public health experts, we will no longer remove the claim that COVID-19 is man-made from our apps, a Facebook spokesperson said in a statement. Facebook previously said in February that it would remove accounts, pages, and groups that repeatedly shares that COVID-19 is man-made.